Hello everyone, DMFF here, and today we will be talking about the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Konami in general. As you all may know, I, I post many Duel Links decks here on my channel. Lately, the number of these videos has been declining due to my feelings on the ultimate state of the game and feelings toward Konami. Before we go deeply into it, let me start by talking about some of the good things about Duel Links. If you purely view this game as a gotcha game, this game is excellent. The game allows you to acquire in-game currency, to allow you to purchase packs, and even a single copy of each structure deck. Plus, there is always an event going on where you can get cards for free. And not to mention, they also give out card tickets of all rarities, so you can pick up your cards that way. For many players that aren't looking to compete, you can build decks with many cards given to you for your time and in-game currency. You can have a single player experience, a PvP experience, completely free to play. Of course, you can pay money for packs as well, which is what Konami is looking for, but as gotcha games go, this is a very generous game in comparison to many others, which I won't name any names. That being said, that's where the praise ends. If you're looking for a true competitive experience, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is not the game that we're looking for. Balance with this, within this game is always going to be an issue. Konami is not looking for balance. Konami is looking to maximize quarterly profits. If you all notice within the recent ban list that was released, it isn't due to be in effect until March 24th. Why not just implement things as soon as possible? People may argue, oh, it's for KC Cup, but if they implemented the list now, it would still be implemented for KC Cup. Not to mention, it would balance the game before KC Cup arrives. Give it a little bit of a test. Don't you all find it a little odd that Dark Magician, one of the strongest decks out there right now, didn't get hit on the ban list at all? They didn't have their consistency reduced? No. Instead of balance, their goal is to slowly release archetype support, spread throughout boxes, really hate, hype up the latest release of a broken UR within whatever box they're releasing. They're going to continue to do that, and Dark Magical Circle being one of them was heavily hyped. They aren't going to nerf that, and Dark Magician is one of the most well-known archetypes in the game's history. They're going to monetize that greatly. We can also currently see this with the recent release of Judgment Dragon in the Light Sworn archetype. The card that single-handedly makes the deck viable and competitive in TCG and OCG to date. They also seem to think that it's okay to add cards that are banned in the OCG and TCG, such as uh, Orcus Harp Horror, to hype up their product and their sales. The power creep of the game has started to get out of control due to this, and we're seeing decks that have become degenerate, thus making the game almost completely unplayable in a competitive standpoint. Most games come down to a coin flip uh, in the uh, meta, and there is little skill expression to be enjoyed. Konami is not looking for balance. They're looking to maximize profits and to keep you and I addicted to their game. Finally, there's the issue with cheating in Duel Links. There are modded APKs of the game as well as mods that you can inject into the game to allow you to do things such as look at your opponent's face downs, look at your opponent's deck, look at the cards in your opponent's hand, use the app to change cards in your hand. I have seen and researched what these things are. I've gotten in contact with some reps at Konami uh, to see what they're going to do about these modded versions and the cheating going on within the game to see if maybe they have an anti-cheat in the works or something as it's giving unfair advantages to people 
And the response that they gave me was so vague and basically a non-answer. They basically just told me to report it in game and they didn't really have an answer beyond that. They never got in contact with me beyond that email. This isn't an answer, Konami. Why isn't there an anti-cheat? It's because Konami does not care about the competitive state of the game. I know that many of you that are turning in are tuning in here for my Duel Links decks, but unfortunately I will no longer be releasing weekly Duel Links decks or videos for Duel Links in general. I'll try to keep releasing my monthly King of Games decks, but I can't promise anything due to my feelings toward Konami's view of their game. I do have my latest COD deck uh, tech that will be released within the next few days for you guys, however. So there's that. It is um, utilizing some stuff from the box as well as uh, some older structure deck support. Uh, you guys will see it in the next couple of days. Moving forward, my channel will still have video game content, top 10 lists, and I will also begin to include my favorite card game currently, Dragon Ball Super Collectible Card Game. So, imagine Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, and the Pokemon trading card game all combined and had a baby, and that baby turned into Dragon Ball Z characters, and that's the card game. It's super fun, very competitive, lots of different things are meta. You can play something that is old or new and still top in an event. <sighs> Expect to see deck techs, gameplay, even tournament content for Dragon Ball Super collectible card game. I will be attending Origins Game Fair in Columbus, Ohio, scheduled for June 17th to the 22nd. There will be many tournaments and games being held here, and I'll be at the Dragon Ball Super collectible card game tournaments held there. Maybe I'll see you. Maybe it'll be across from me at one of the tournaments. But guys, thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting me uh, just by viewing my videos. And uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate you all. Hit that like button if you really enjoyed this video or hit that dislike button if you disagree with me and dislike the video. Let me see what you guys think in the comments. Anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.